Imagine a robot that can understand your words and respond to a conversation while carrying out tasks and making decisions. Science fiction, not anymore. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Welcome to the infinite innovation of tech, where the lines between humans and machines are blurring faster than ever. Buckle up, because we're about to dive deep into the groundbreaking new robot from OpenAI and figure that's shaking the entire industry. You're in for a treat because OpenAI has teamed up with Figure to create a groundbreaking humanoid robot. Trust us, it's nothing short of amazing. Just look at that. Well, folks, you've just witnessed the demo that rocked the entire industry. It either shook or shocked everyone, depending on how you want to put it. To be honest with you guys, this is hands down the most surprising thing seen all year. And it's without a doubt the most impressive demo from any company. Now give significant props to Figure, the company behind this innovation. They've been moving at lightning speed. And get this, they're only 18 months old. That's just a year and six months since they started and look at their incredible progress. From having nothing to building a fully functional humanoid robot that can carry out tasks using its vision model powered by an end-to-end -end neural network, all while chatting with you, it's awe-inspiring how far they've come in such a short time. Let's dig into some technical aspects of this robot being developed in the AGI lab. So, the first image shared by someone working there breaks down the video. They mentioned that all the behaviors showcased are learned, not manually operated and running at average speed. Now here's a fun fact you might not have known. In the past, when robot demos were done, they often sped up the footage. Why? Because robots used to be pretty slow. Speeding things up gave a better idea of what the robot could do. In this recent demo, everything you saw was at regular speed, with no speeding up whatsoever. That means it all happened in real time, which is impressive. The tweet also mentions that all the behaviors were learned, not controlled, through teleoperation. If you're unfamiliar with it, teleoperation is when a human uses a VR controller to control the robot's movements, like a VR headset, mapping their actions onto the robot to demonstrate its physical capabilities. So here's the cool part about this robot. It's powered by an end-to-end -end neural network, which means it's fully autonomous. Feed images from the robot's cameras and transcribe speech from onboard microphones into a big multimodal model trained by OpenAI. This model understands both images and text, and it processes everything from the conversation's history to past images to generate spoken language responses. This same model also decides which learned behaviors to run on the robot to carry out a given command. It loads specific neuron network weights onto the GPU and executes a policy. This AI system recognizes what's happening in its surroundings based on human speech, decides what to do from its library of actions, and then carries out those actions using its reasoning abilities. All right, so let's talk about the robot's vision capability first. It's not just seeing images, it's understanding them. This means it can reason about what's happening around it and determine what needs to be done next. And here's the cool part. It can respond to humans using text-to-speech technology. This means it can convert its reasoning into spoken words, allowing it to converse just like a person. What we really loved about the text-to-speech feature was how coherent and human-like it sounded. Some folks might think the voices from the figure robot were just recordings of actual humans. And that could be true, but let me tell you something. We've played around with software that can make humanoid robots sound 100% human realistic. It's pretty mind-blowing, and we'll show you a demo later. One thing they mention is that the robot uses a whole body controller. This means it can move in a stable and controlled manner avoiding toppling or making unsafe movements. The robot has an inner sense of balance and can harmoniously move all its body parts. They also mention 200 actions per second and 1,000 updates per second on joint torques. This allows the robot to make smooth and precise movements and react quickly to changes. The system is designed to work seamlessly, allowing the robot to understand its environment's visual and spoken aspects. On the other hand, 
This robot can decide how to respond in speech and action, and does it all in real time without human control. The behaviors in the video are learned from training and are not explicitly programmed for each interaction. This allows it to process and react to information super quickly. Now there's another tweet from someone working on the robot, and they mentioned that connecting figure one to a multimodal model brings some excellent new abilities. For instance, figure one can describe its surroundings using common sense reasoning, like figuring out that dishes on the table will likely go into the drying rack next. It can also interpret vague requests like, I'm hungry, and respond appropriately, such as handing a person an apple. Plus, it can explain why it took a particular action in simple English. Here's an example. Imagine someone saying, I'm hungry, to the robot. That seems like a basic request, but shows some advanced reasoning skills. The robot has to think, OK, hungry means they want food. Let me look around for something edible. When it spots an apple, it decides on a policy to hand that person the apple. Then, it has to grab the apple and pass it over physically. This whole process involves common sense reasoning, which is a big step forward from what we've seen. It's not just about showing off the robot's agility and strength, it's about its ability to think and act logically. The implications of this are seriously tremendous. We've got a robot that can make educated guesses about what should happen next based on what it sees. For example, if it spots dishes on a table, it can figure they'll probably go into a drying rack next, just like how we might see dirty dishes and think they need to be washed. Another tweet from Corey talks about a large pre-trained model giving figure one a powerful short-term memory. Consider a question like, can you put them there? What does them refer to? And where is there? The robot answers correctly by reflecting on its memory and analyzing the conversation's history of images and text. Figure one quickly figures out a plan placing the cup on the drying rack and then putting the plate there. It's like the robot has a sharp memory and can act accordingly based on what it remembers. The following tweet by Corey breaks down how the robot handles complex tasks with its hands, involving handling, holding and manipulating objects precisely. This is what we call bimanual manipulation, where both hands are involved. So, the first thing to understand is the Neural Network Visual Moto Transformer Policy. Picture the robot's brain having a specific part that can process images from its cameras, essentially its eyes. The robot takes those processed images and translates them directly into actions, like moving its arms or fingers. It does this using a transformer, a neural network that handles data sequences, like sequences of images over time. Here's the cool part. The robot doesn't just see images, it interprets them to decide what actions its hands and fingers should take. Its onboard cameras capture images 10 times per second, and based on those images, the robot updates its actions 200 times per second. This means there's a tiny delay between seeing something and acting, but it's lightning fast, much quicker than a human can perceive. Also, talking about 24 degrees of freedom actions refers to how many different ways the robot can move. It's like giving the robot a lot of flexibility in its movements. The robot can adjust its wrist position and finger angles in 24 unique ways to grab and manipulate objects. Now, when we talk about high rate set points for the whole body controller, think of them as targets or goals that the robot aims to reach. These set points are used by the whole body controller, which operates even faster to ensure the robot's entire body moves in sync with its hands. Now let's talk about separations of concerns. This means breaking a complex problem into smaller parts. In this case, the pre-trained models act as the robot's high-level thinking, using common sense to plan based on what it sees and hears. The learned visual motor policies act like the robot's reflexes, allowing it to do tasks too complex to program manually, like handling unpredictable movements. Lastly, the whole body controller is like the robot's sense of balance and self-preservation. It ensures that the robot stays stable and safe, no matter what actions the hands perform. So, in simpler terms, we've got a robot that's built to handle complex tasks with its hands, using rapid and sophisticated actions. Different parts of its brain focus on various aspects of the task,
to ensure it's done smoothly and safely. And there you have it. A glimpse into the future of robotics with Figure One's groundbreaking capabilities. But here's the real question. As these robots become more integrated into our lives, how will they change the way we work, live, and interact with the world around us? Let us know in the comments below and remember to hit the like button. For more updates, subscribe to Infinite Innovation Tech.